Hey guys, good morning. Uh, so today I'm taking a little bit of a break from the P48 project. I, I am going to do a little bit of work on that. Um, I've got to get the driver's side front suspension mounted up so I can start planning out uh, mounting our steering, our rack and pinion steering to the front cross member of the IFS conversion. Um, so I haven't posted that video yet because I haven't done it yet. We've been focusing on other tasks. Uh, getting the getting the P48 running, which we did here the other day. So now we've got to get it driving, and to get it driving, we have to knock out steering, we have to knock out brake system, we have to knock out, uh, you know, mounting our master cylinder to the firewall and our clutch slit, clutch master to the firewall. Um, getting all of those things handled, so we have steering, we have brakes, we have drivability. Uh, we need to get a drive line made up for it. So. Um, Today I'm taking a little bit of a break. I'm doing a, doing a little bit of work on that, but I thought first what I'd tackle is something I've been meaning to do for a long time that I've just been kind of living without, and that is making a third hand for welding. Uh, third hands are pretty simple little devices, uh, a weighted um, positioner that you can use to hold your metal in place while you're tack welding and, and getting, red, getting things fitted up. Uh, on something that you're building. So I went to my scrap bin here and pulled out a few chunks of uh, 3 8 I've got a bunch of 3 8 solid bar from uh, building some strut rods that I used on my 67 Triumph to hold the fender in place. So I've got a bunch of leftover of that um, that I'm going to use and uh, this little jobby which I'm not sure even where I got this from but it was in my scrap pile. Uh, I'm going to use as the tip of the positioner. I've already bent the rear leg here uh, to mount it up, and I've got a big, heavy chunk of DOM tubing that is left over from my rock crawler days where I was building um, suspensions and steering components. Um, and I think I think I used this to make tie rod, a tie rod out of it. It's, yeah, it's probably at least quarter inch wall. It might even be a little over that. 300 thou or something um, and it's pretty mushroomed on one side because I use this thing for driving stuff out when I need to drive something with a sledgehammer so it's been beat on pretty good and I only need a small chunk of it so I'm going to take about uh, probably a four inch chunk off this uh, stick of DOM so I could still use it because obviously I beat a lot of things with it to mushroom it that bad and uh, I'll still have it for that purpose, but I'll just be, it'll be three inches shorter, three or four inches shorter. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to throw that over my bar here, which is the backbone of our positioner, weld the legs onto it, and then fit the tip. So that way I have just a simple little third hand for, uh, for welding things together and holding pieces in, in place. So uh, I'm going to get started. I'm going to use the TIG for that because I need to practice my TIG. So I'm going to uh, start cutting these pieces up and I'll set the camera up so you guys can watch me uh, cut and grind and weld. And I'm going to try and position the camera better so that you can actually see what I'm doing here on my uh, fancy fab table. Um, I know some of the previous videos had horrible footage because I couldn't get the lighting right on on the camera. So uh, I'm going to get started on that and uh, I'll put you guys up so you can watch. Alright guys, well, uh, 
here's how the positioner came out the uh, the third hand they call them uh, welds were okay at first actually the last weld I made is uh, probably the worst of the bunch the first few here I laid on the DOM look fine to me I think it's just I think it's just fine the last piece I welded here was the tip which was this threaded shank uh, looks like a bolt shank I'm not sure exactly where that came off of I don't really remember but the uh, weld could have been better there I was probably too cold um, this thing here is probably 5 8 diameter at the at the uh, non-threaded portion and I was welding to my uh, my half inch solid bar here and um, I could have run a lot more amps I was only running at 160 amps and I probably should have cranked it up and maxed the thing out for uh, for welding this area here I think uh, I think another uh, maybe another 20 30 amps would have uh, would have worked better for that just looks a little cold to me but um, yeah the rest of it came out okay and it'll work just fine for what I need it to do which is hold things into position while I tack them up and weld them so uh, you know I copied some of the other designs out there there's lots of YouTube videos about how to make those things and um, it's about time I finally put one together I think the other thing I'm going to try and try and do is uh, I'm going to cut some coupons, do some practice, of course, and uh, try try switching hands. Uh, I'm not very steady with my right hand anymore, and um, that's my torch hand, and that's probably contributing to some of my difficulty in following a, following a curve, keeping my torch angle correct, and trying to lay a a nice pretty bead that's even width. Um, you know, when your hand's moving around, uh, doesn't doesn't make it any easier. So, I'm gonna try switching hands. Maybe uh, maybe I'm left-handed and I don't know it.